All right, I know why you're here. You're in chemistry page 1128, page L, and you got to the last problem on the page, number 57, and you said, help! Mr. Anger, I don't know where to begin. All right, let's talk. So in the pace on page 12 and 13, nope, page 13, they have a chart we're going to use in uh, page 11, but when you look on page 14 and 15, in the very middle of the pace, um, example 8.3, they go through all these steps, and um, it's a little, it can be a little intimidating, okay? But I want to, I want to just point something out here, and uh, let's see. All right, so this information they copied right from the chart. They're uh, telling us, it says, find the enthalpy of formation for the production of nitrogen dioxide, that's this, from nitrogen monoxide, NO, and oxygen. Now remember, oxygen is one of those diatomic molecules where oxygen, it's always O2, never just O, all right? So uh, in reality, we have to first figure out, well, what would be the... Um, enthalpy of the NO, and what is the enthalpy of the NO2? Um, now, they go through here on page um, 14, this step right here, which in my opinion, well, I'm, okay, so technically it is called a thermodynamic equation. The goal is to get it down to one mole of each of these products, okay? And then that's what the enthalpy of formation is for one mole. But if you think of it as, you know, a little shortcut, we could just say because this is 2NO, okay, we have two moles of NO, then we could look at the NO and just double this number, okay? And same with the NO2. We could look at the table and say, oh, it's 33.2, let me just double it. And in fact, when we get down a couple of steps here, we see that that's exactly what they did. They doubled the 33.2 and doubled the 90.3 to get the 180.6, okay? So uh, anyways, that's where they're getting that from is there, because we have two moles of it, we have to have twice the amount of thermal, of, you know, the delta H. So the delta H of formation is per mole. All right, and then I want to point out one other thing here, and that is when we get down to this step right here, and uh, first of all, you notice that they've reversed the reaction for this first one, okay? And um, start with the NO, and then that breaks down to form N2 and O2. So we've reversed the reaction. That also reverses the sign, so it was positive, and now it's negative, and I just wiped that out by highlighting it. All right, but we come down here to uh, near the end of the problem, and notice what happens. The nitrogen on the right cancels the N2 on the left, but look what we have here. We have two oxygen molecules, O2, two O2, up here we have one. So when they're canceling, they're not canceling the whole thing, they're only canceling one of those two. Is that clear? So that's why down below we still have the 2NO2 that carries down. And then one of these is carrying down. And then what's left on the product side is the 2NO2. Okay, so that's our net reaction. And so the math is very simple. We take the negative 180.6 and the positive 66.4. And then when we add, you know, subtract the smaller from the larger, keep the sign of the larger, <laughs> we get the negative 114.2. And that is the answer, but be careful, that's the answer for two moles of NO2. And so then the last step that they went through here is a divided by two, okay? And then that gives the final answer, the enthalpy of formation for one mole of NO2. All right, now that we've seen 
um, some of these steps here on the page and pointed out a couple of those points. Let's, um, let's try to tackle the problem on our, in the homework <clears throat> together. So the problem tells us that we have one mole, um, calculate the enthalpy formation for one mole of carbon dioxide derived from carbon monoxide and oxygen. So remember, O oxygen always has to be O2. Now, is this equation balanced? Nope, we can look at it right away and see that that's not balanced. But if I put a two out front here and put a two over here, I now have two carbon on each side. And now I have two oxygen and two more oxygens, four oxygen. Over here we have four oxygen. So now that equation is balanced, okay? <clears throat> so the first thing we need to do is break down the carbon. We want to try to figure out how is carbon monoxide formed, okay? Because that's the thing we're starting with. And we've got to find the delta. Well, we know the delta... HF, the formation, enthalpy of formation of carbon monoxide, just from the chart. It's negative 110.5. We can look that up on the chart. All right, but we have to balance this equation. So let's say we have two oxygen, so I need to have two carbon. So two carbon plus two oxygen over here will yield two CO2. And so guess what the uh, delta H is going to be? It's going, to be half, it's going to have to be this number times 2 because I have 2 moles of it, not 1. <clears throat> so that's going to be 221, and that would be negative. By the way, in the directions for this problem, it says solve this problem. You may need additional paper. Yeah, duh. They don't give you much space at all to do that. You probably need a whole sheet of paper to do this problem. All right, are you following with me? <clears throat> So now we're going to take that equation that we just balanced on the previous screen, which is this equation right here, and <clears throat> we reversed it. So now we're starting with the CO, carbon monoxide, and breaking it down to the carbon and the oxygen. Now notice on the other page we had plus negative 221, and now it's plus 221, okay? And that's because we have reversed the direction, and so that reverses the sign of this. All right, this is the step now where we draw a line, and we're going to see what cancels out. I see two carbon as a product up here, and that becomes the reactant here, so I can cancel that out. I have an oxygen molecule up here, O2. Down here I have two O2, so I can cancel one of those, which means I can bring down the two CO plus the O2 that was left, and that's going to result in two CO2. All right, so basically that is the answer that we are looking for right here. This is our almost last step of the problem. Now get your calculator out because you're going to do this math problem here. So take positive 221, negative 787, add those, and that will be the delta H. Now that's not what you're going to write for your final answer, but we're almost there, <clears throat> right? You're going to take that answer, and because this is two moles of carbon dioxide, then the answer, the delta H, the enthalpy of formation, has to be divided by 2, and that will be the enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide. All right, are you ready for some good news? I looked ahead, and on the checkup, the self-test, and the PACE test, you will not have to do another problem like this. So they only give you one, for you to kind of walk through all of those steps and kind of see how it works. They're kind of, basically they're just trying to expose you to the idea. This is not something that you have to totally understand and master it 
in order to be able to move on in this chemistry course. So that's encouraging, um, and we worked through most of it together. So copy all of that down, fin do you finish, finalize that problem and score it, and then you're ready to move on. We have some more problems in this section of the pace that we'll talk about in a bit.